All right, folks, welcome back to episode of Fish and Flare. Today, well, we're not fishing. It's raining. You guys tell it's really windy, really rainy. We're actually in between rainstorms right now. It's been raining all night, all morning. It's gonna rain later. It's a little bit chilly, but got something important to show you guys before we get started here. As you guys know, got the new truck, and we got the, the first edition. The first thing, first things first, that I wanted to do when I was adding things to this, I need something to cover the back of the truck. You can't have it just out dangling out there in the rain and the storms and everything else. We have to have it covered. So, check this out. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. We got an automatic one, boys. We are that bougie. That's so nice. We're that bougie. Look at it. It's still going. It's still going. And then you hit it back. And look at it doing its thing. It's just automatically sliding. This is the rolling lock cover. I will link it down below if you guys want to go check it out. Um, I've actually had a rolling lock before, but it wasn't the automatic one. This one is sick, but they have got a whole bunch of other ones. It's not the only one that you have, but this is by far the coolest one, hands freaking down. So if you guys want to go check it out, you can, but I had to keep, I'm going to keep doing updates. We were talking with uh, the people at Ultimate Truck yesterday about doing some things, maybe a leveling kit, new tires, wheels, some new suspension shocks, getting it tinted. We've got a whole list of things that we need to get done. All right, so we're locked. We're rolled and locked, ready to go. But we're doing dad things today. Like I said, we're not going fishing. We've got this video idea. You know, we did this, how many months ago was that, John? Nine, eight, seven, six, something. A while ago, we made a homemade $5 mousetrap. And it worked, we caught some mice. But we're here to do, to make more of them because the Flare b, b is straight up infested at this point. Um, I mean, beyond beyond belief infested, we need to try to get rid of them. And just tr tr traditional mousetraps aren't doing it. So, Bonds Daddy, I'm Have challenging you. Yeah, I'm challenging you. 1v1, I would say you got, let's give it 20 bucks. I mean, I feel like that's probably yeah. even over the top, but. Yeah. Let's say $20. We each get 20 bucks to spend to build the world's greatest mouse trap. And uh, we're gonna put them side by side, throw them in the flare beam, roll the night vision camera, and see which one catches the most mice. You guys stay tuned. Sheesh. Figuring out the buckets. That's task one right. of this operation. This is $4. Four, oh, wow. Okay. Starting off with the bucket. Yep. Should we just do yours first and then do mine? Sure. I think that's probably easier. Yeah. Okay. So we're just gonna follow Bounce Daddy around and see what he has in mind. What's next on the list? Next is this. Miracle Grow Perlite. What's that? What are you growing? You growing plants? Is that gonna attract yeah. them? Mice like it. Really? Where do you come up with this stuff? Is it, how much was that? Five bucks? Five you, bucks are you at nine? Bonds will find some wood. What kind of wood are you feeling? Cheap. I mean, you're gonna want something, something cheap. That's expensive. That's $3.44. Yeah, I just want one. And so you're going with the big one, you're saying? I'm gonna cut in half. Okay, so how much was that? Three bucks. Either way, I don't think you're over. You got this, you got that, you got that. And then I just need their. You need some food? Bait. Bait. And that's it. Bonsell's done. He's got his deal done. Now I gotta go. Well, we're right at the wood, so you know what do I need here? I need a ramp for sure. I think that's it as far as wood goes. So thing is, I think I'm gonna I'm only gonna do one. So that's probably that's pretty steep, right? It gets some, something a little bit longer. All right, I'm copying you. Okay. We're getting the same one. We're getting the same piece of wood. So that's three bucks. I need to, I need to get a bucket. Still need to get a bucket. What else do I need? I need some cardboard. See, I got cardboard at home though. I don't want the blue bucket, man. We gotta be different. Can't be can't be both rocking the blue bucket. There we go. See, we don't need to be on that blue bucket grind. Ooh. How much is it cheaper? Cheap. Oh. How much was yours? Mine was three ninety eight. Okay, I'm going bougier. More expensive bucket. Going with the white bucket. It's more natural for the mice, you know. All right, bucket, wood. I've got cardboard at home. What else? Food. We'll have to get some food here. I mean, either way, I'm gonna be under, under twenty bucks. That's all that really matters. Basically, just any any household items. We're going. I honestly don't know what he's got in mind right now because he's got some stuff to grow plants. We're gonna keep going. Let's see. Is there anything else we need to get food? I think that's pretty much it. What's up, dude? What's up? Are you excited? You wanna go trap some mice? You wanna go trap some mice? Well, we're back home. We're ready to get our trapping game dialed in here. This is our uh, manufacturing station. This is yours, this is mine. Look at it, it's like we got a professional over here. Look at he set up studio. Studio, oh wow, you literally can't see anything. Well, you guys get the idea. Do I look less ugly than normal? It's kinda hard to do, honestly. How's that lighting? It's all the shirts. Austin's gonna be, Austin's gonna be taking hella Snapchats in this lighting. You know he's gonna, dude, he's gonna be rolling through all of his contacts with this glowing light on him. Anyways, we're gonna get started here. I'm gonna go grab some more supplies from inside, and let's get going. All right, how's this setup? I feel like the setup's good. Dude, you gotta, you gotta start in hot. All right. Like, what did you drink today? Oh, you had some espresso. I did have some espresso, That's yeah. Nice espresso up. is good. We grabbed a few more materials. We got some wire cutters, cardboard, saws, power tools, stuff like that. But essentially, what we're building costs no more than 20 bucks for sure. I mean, a lot of it's household items. So, we're gonna get started. Um, we'll just kind of both be building at the same time and be giving up updates and everything else like that. And we'll see who comes out on top. We're gonna do one point per mouse. Rat is five. This should be interesting. So, first step for mine, we gotta cut some cardboard out. I wanna literally make this entire thing pretty much out of cardboard. That cardboard and a ramp, that's all the 
utensils, things that I want. So I'm probably gonna measure it about like that. Start off cutting some cardboard, just like this. So basically what I'm gonna do is make kind of like a walk the plank style. Essentially, I'm gonna make this, these mouse think that they can walk on this and then it's just gonna make a little, kind of a spinning trap type deal to make them fall in there. But again, the idea is make it out of cardboard. Hansa, what are you up to? I'm gonna make the ramp, I'm gonna cut it in half, make my ramps, and mine's quicksand, so. I'll have water in there, and then you just pour this on top, and it looks like it's land, and then the food's on there, and they jump in, and they just. That's the, that's Bond Cells. The rest of the episode will be building mine, because mine's gonna take forever. You guys stay tuned. About three hours later, it took way too long to do it, but here's the idea. We gotta, we gotta name these too, so be thinking of a name for yours. The idea is I'll put some peanut butter kind of things up here so they kind of get interested. They come up here, and then right here in the back, and back up on here, I'm gonna put some peanut butter. The mice are gonna look, and the reason why I built these walls up is so they can't jump out when it starts going. So let's imitate a mouse. Here's your little mouse, right? Goes boop, 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 boop. And then he goes, starts sniffing, sees the peanut butter back there, goes, and he starts inching his way to get the peanut butter. Boom! Dead. What do you what do you got for what do you got to show for yourself? Oh yeah, build anything. anything yeah. Nope. Oh, you want to see what Bonzel does? Probably not. Well, I was building this. This is what he was doing. Shablam! Look at that. He built a Guggen base wall, and we got some Guggen squad line. We're, we're getting the, we're getting this all situated. We're gonna have tackle boxes all in this, all the Bass Mafia Guggen squad boxes now available. Boom. So whenever I'm going fishing, I'm like, yo, I need some black blue flake cracking cross. Boom. We got them all right here. So we're building this. Big wall filled with all the Guggen Squad stuff. And I just realized with all the new stuff that we're coming out with, I need bigger walls. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to put a wall somewhere else, dude. We, uh, we're probably, honestly, by the end of the summer, we'll have this many additional baits yeah, coming out. So we might have to, we might just have to start up a tackle store here in my garage instead of throwing all this other stuff. Anyways, get back to the mouse trapping video. All right, so now that Andrew's done, we're gonna make the quicksand version of the five gallon bucket. Pretty simple. He made his very bougie, not a cardboard. I'm just using some wood. I'm gonna drill it right there like that, and then I'm gonna cut this in half, and it'll be like that. And it's kind of like walk the plank, and then the food's down here, and they drop in, and they're stuck. Dangle, and then put the food on top of it. So they think that it's they mean, think it's ground. Their brain's pretty small, but I mean, it didn't it floats? So so I guess we just just get fill it with more water. Probably yeah. you just don't want them to be able to like reach it from here. But I'd still do it a little higher, a little bit higher. But you get the concept. So and let's then, um let's find something we can throw in there. Like this? No, that'll float. Oh. Uh, it's true. So here's the idea. We gotta get some better ramps. These are a little too steep. Mine's, mine might be too steep too, but the idea is a little mouse goes, and then he sees the peanut butter and goes, oh shoot, let's go grab the peanut butter. Sayonara, on. mouse. And then it covers it back up. So you don't she gone. Know Yo, no, you can't see the mouse no. either. Look, no, see, like, see yeah. it covers back up. So you yeah. can't, the next mouse, so the idea behind both of ours, did I explain mine? Oh yeah, I did. Um, the idea is it resets, so the mouse falls down, it resets. That way you can, a normal mouse trap is a one, one and done. You know, and, and then like the whole mouse poison stuff, like you don't want a bunch of dead mice everywhere. So this is- get 20 mice. Re reciprocal, is that the right word here? Re, what? I think that's a math term. Reciprocal, is that not the right word? Like, like when it's, like repeat. No, not repeat, like. I know what you're trying to say. Macy? Yeah, let me get Mace. Maybe. Macy question. Okay, so I'm trying to think of a word. I say reciprocal, but I don't think it's reciprocal. It's like a repeat. Repeat it. Yeah, but that's, that's not, not that. that. It is. It's like. No, it's not I'm, that. Did you come in here to ask? Because I thought you were smart oh, and you would know. Okay. I don't know. I swear it starts with an I. It does. I know. You know what word I'm. Okay, okay. okay. I'm not the only one. Re eh. Recurring, I feel like. Yeah, maybe, that's. Maybe. I think that's the word I'm thinking of. Nah, I don't know if it's that. Recurring. Recurring's probably what I'm thinking of. I don't know. 
Like this, the, the mousetrap is recurring. There's not Google. Google doesn't have anything. We're going with reoccurring. All right, these mousetraps are reoccurring, meaning over and over and over, catching unlimited mice. Because the idea is there's so many. We can't just set the little spring ones because we'll have to be resetting them every three minutes. These are the traps. We'll name these uh, when we get down to the farm. But we're gonna take these down there, set them all up in the Flare BNB, and see which one catches the most mice. Quicksand versus cardboard starts now. Well, folks, it is uh, the next day. We're getting the mouse trap set up. We got bonzes, we got mine. So I need another, I need a ramp. A little homemade ramp for them. All right, get the peanut butter going here. Yep, peanut butter goes down here. That way they run and well, I gotta fix that. But a little peanut butter here, get them all, get them all happy about it. A little nug down here for them. Just a trail of happiness, yellow brick road. Put my miracle row in. I think that's gonna work. Wait, I added a little bit of weight. Yeah. So now they flip it. It would it literally have to go like all the way up if it looked like that. Yeah, I don't think it, it would have to do up. that. So I can tape this off. Come on. Yeah, break the whole rig. It took you three hours to make. There you go. Yeah. It has to go back. Hey, what up, my dudes? Last minute adjustment. Last, last minute perfection. Nothing like it. Get my, get my runway of death back up and going. That's about all I can do. All right, get some more peanut butter on there. Are we good? I'm what good. Do you, what do you think the odds are? I feel like yours is pretty simple. You want to put some peanut butter on your ramp to get them fired up? No, no, we got to use different baits. Oh. Well, folks, we're going to uh, we're gonna let these guys go overnight, set up the old camera, and you guys sit back and enjoy. What's your guess? What do you think? If you were to guess how many are in both total? Three. Three? Ah. All in mine. I'll go two. I, I say one and one. So folks, it's the next morning. We're about to check on the homemade mouse traps. Cardboard versus quicksand. Yeah, okay. Moment of truth. There's probably gonna be a raccoon in here. Excuse me, Ricky. Oh, botch. Oh, dude, I have two. Really? Oh, uh, maybe th no, at least two. How do you know? You got to dump it out, huh? I mean, I have a piece there. Yeah, but I, I mean, I got a tons of peanut butter. No way it worked. All right, well, we're about to figure out if I have any. Let's see, I got t I got two. Let's see how many are there in yours? Any flying mice? Nothing? Nothing. Bro, the quicksand was a botch. Dang. No way. Dang. They didn't, well, we got to review the footy. Yeah. Hopefully the camera stayed on. Yeah. I don't know. They, it's really hard to record overnight with a camera. We have it like plugged in and everything, but the camera's off now. So I don't know how long it recorded. So we're going to go take the SD card out of here, take it back to the camp and go review the footage. But dude, no way this worked. Yeah, there's two in there. No way. All right, let's review the footy. Moment of truth here, folks. Got the SD card. I don't know. I'm, I'm like I'm like a 50-50 whether it, it, it recorded it or not. The battery was fully charged and it was plugged in, but it doesn't seem to last all that long. So let's see. I don't know if it's got the two mice I got. Doesn't look like Austin had any, but that doesn't mean there weren't any doing mouse things on top of his uh, his trap. We're going to kind of see. You learn a lot by watching the mice to see how smart they are, if they kind of figured out your deal or not. But I'm really hoping that we got some footage of the two jumping into mice. Because I want to see if it really worked the way that I thought it would. Oh, look at him, oh, look at him. Oh, oh, there's another one right up there. Really? Oh, snap. Oh, oh. snap. There's another one. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, there was one on yours. Dude, he's, he's up on he's your up ramp. There. Oh, he, he lit. Oh, he's like, scared. <laughs> yeah. He just ran right back down. All right. No no kills in the first round. Clip number two. Oh, oh gosh. He's so close. He's nibbling on the food up there. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, he, he jumped skirt. off. He jumped off. Dang it. Dude, they were close. So, dude, nothing's even entertained mine. That's why I can't believe it actually worked. Like, yours is so yeah. much more appealing. Oh. <gasps> oh, no Wait, way. no way. Oh, you, oh, my gosh. You made the planks too long. He just ran oh, back. Oh my gosh, he literally just ran across. I was like, how did that thing disappear? Like, I didn't see I didn't anything, see anything there. there. You're kidding me. That's crazy. So the other thing you could you could do is like oh offset God. them a little yeah, bit and like angle them, one. angle them out, or just do one. He, that was straight bamboozled right there. That's You're like, yeah, that's a that slap. Be illegal. That's a slap, and that should be illegal. Oh, he's up on top. What's he gonna Get do? in there. Get in there. Jump in. Jump down. Oh, oh you're oh, kidding. On. Get down. You're kidding. 
Oh, no way! Man. How do they know? They have to know. They have to know, otherwise he would have just jumped down. They have to know. Oh my gosh, you're joking, dude. These mice are smarter than me. They're 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 not dumb. He would yeah, if he thought that was legit. Dang, dude. It's crazy how they haven't touched yours yet. No, nothing has even that I that I've seen. Nothing's touched mine. Yeah. Oh. oh. Okay, he's running oh. up. Oh. Get in there. Oh, dude, they're just playing around like it's like a jungle gym. Oh. Look at him. Look at him. Oh, get in there. Oh, he can reach. They can reach. They can reach. So it needs to be lower. They need the, we, a little bit less water. They can reach. Yeah. Dude, they are all over yours right now. This is ridiculous. Oh, Look at it. Barely hanging on. Oh, oh you're kidding me. He's, he's one got foot, one. One foot. Oh, he got the food and he's gone. Look at him. Dude. Man. You should have done that. That ain't cool. Dude. Oh, my gosh. No way. I can't believe they're he's just, just chilling there No, now. they're straight finessing yours right oh, now. Oh, yeah. He's just... Eating that peanut. They are finessing Get yours. So Dang. hard they're finessing yours. Dang. Look at it. They're going back. It's probably the same mouse. Yeah, I'm going to freak out when one like actually drops in and we didn't see it. Yeah. Oh my god. Look at him. Oh. Yep, he got it. Oh. Look at him. Oh. Look at him one foot wonder over there. Oh, he's got Watch him just jump oh. in my bucket. Is that how I got him? That would be hilarious. Temp. Oh. No way. We should put ours a little closer. Oh wait, he's going to go up my ramp. Yup. Yo. Yup. Do it. Do it. So is that peanut butter right there? I don't know what that is, to be honest with you. I don't remember putting that there. It must be a glob of peanut butter. Dude, he almost got yours, and then he's like, oh, let me go over this one. That ain't cool, man. <laughs> don't do that to me. <laughs> he's gonna do it, too. He's just munching that peanut butter right now. Oh. Uh-oh. Say goodbye, little fella. Come on. Where are your friends, bro? Why is there only the balls? Like, why is there only one? Oh, he's oh, oh, come on. He's skeptical. That's right. That's right. Oh, there's a mouse coming from the back. He's going to go up this. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, do it. Do it. Sayonara, oh. my dude. Saya freaking Nara, son. Saya Nara. That's, that's number one for you. Dude. Straight toasted him, boys. Toasted him. That worked. Oh, yeah, he's done. He's done for, boys. He's out. Adios, amigo. Come on. Come on. Why do they go up that thing? Yeah, that's weird. Oh, there's two. No? No, no, no. no, no. He just went under. Oh, wow. Oh, he's definitely getting murked. Yep. Yep. Oh, See you later. Go. Gone forever. There's mouse number two. Dude, that thing worked actually yeah. extremely well. They didn't like your ramp, but once they, they got yeah, on they your teeter totter, they, 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 they were They done. didn't like their... I just need to build a ladder. It's like a ladder would be a little bit more effective. They just kind of climbed up the side a little bit. Mm. So you need to lower the water a little bit on yours. And don't make the diving board so close yeah, together just one diving board i think i need to build a ladder they had no idea that that was about to do that no. it worked i was actually pretty shocked two mice could shout we actually didn't see that many mice i thought it was gonna be like a feeding frenzy because they've just been sitting in there for so long two to zero cardboard wins takes the freaking death well ladies and gentlemen that is the end of today's episode building mousetraps homemade mousetraps let me know in the comments down below do you guys have a better mousetrap than that because i mean i've done this once before i did the whole rolling log thing with the coke can and caught a lot more than that uh but there really wasn't that many mice honestly i'm thinking there might have been like two or three that we saw throughout that entire thing so i mean the fact that i caught two um i feel like really isn't all that bad i feel like we actually did pretty decent um if we just tink twisted tinkered manipulated austin just a hair i feel like he could have had more he decided to kind of lower it a little bit and make him slip oh also i know what he could have done he could have put some oil around the rim so when they're hanging on with their one leg it'll, it'll slip easier that's another thought cardboard takes the dub today um, like I said, if you guys have any other ideas, crazy, crazy mouse trapping ideas, or if you guys like the mouse trapping videos, we thought we'd have some fun. The Flare B&B is just gone forever. That's why we got the new B&B here. And uh, we figured, hey, why not have a little bit of fun, set up some uh, homemade mouse traps, and see, see what we can find. I'm sure there's still more in there. So again, if you guys really do enjoy them, let me know in the comment section down below, and uh, we'll come up with a new one. I honestly, I had fun with it. It was like, hey, let's just get a five-gallon bucket and some cardboard and see if we can kill some mice, and we that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode, and peace!